Welcome to Staying Kingdom Minded. My name is Amanda and I am so glad you clicked on today's video. We're going to jump right into the content, but I want to tell you what to expect from this video. First, I'm going to show you one quick announcement. Second, we're going to jump right into the tutorial and I'm going to teach you how to make a prayer journal. I'm going to teach you step by step how to create a prayer journal. If you are not the most crafty individual, you don't like your own handwriting, you don't have tons of supplies, you don't even know what washi tape is, and all of the things. This is going to be a 100% free prayer journal. You're going to have it at your fingertips at all moments. And that's the best thing because to deepen your relationship with God in your prayer life, you must dig into your prayer journal or your prayer life in general. So this prayer journaling video, this tutorial is for beginners. It's going to give you prayer journaling ideas, tips, and hacks. And it's also specifically for those who are in the midst of spiritual warfare. Listen, sis, it's not a warm, fuzzy topic. Not very many people are wanting to talk about it because it's not something that feels good. But if you're in the midst of a battle and you need to know how to fight back the right way, this is the video for you. Okay, so quickly, the announcement is I just want to tell you that over here on stayingkingdomminded.com, this is my website and I blog over here. And in addition to that, I have created this Fresh Faith in February writing journal. And in this journal, we are doing a challenge that kicks off on February the 1st. We are going to be creating a series here on the YouTube channel. I would love for you to participate in the challenge. Every day, we're gonna work through a writing prompt together. We're gonna dissect it. We're gonna grow closer to God in our prayer life. And God is gonna meet us. And the fact that we are being intentional and we're trying to grow grow together, God is really going to bless this effort. And I just know that God is really going to meet us. Also, I have a weekly Kingdom Crew newsletter that goes out Friday mornings. Sign up for that. It's totally free. I would love to send you out some motivational Christian encouragement. Okay, let's jump in quickly. I'm going to share with you two websites where I go, and then I'm going to show you an example of the prayer journal that we're going to build. Okay, the first website that I like to use is a website called Pexels.com. Pexels.com is free. You do not need to have an account set up. It's completely free. The other one is called Pixabay, and that is also completely free. You just go to the website, you type in the search box what you're looking for. So I went in prematurely before I started the video, downloaded a couple of images, but I'm just going to show you how it would work. So say I typed in prayer. These are all of the images that I could utilize. These are free. They are copyright free as well. They're called stock images. So you can use these without the fear of getting any type of copyright or um, penalties for using someone else's images. So these are two very amazing websites to have. So this is an example of the prayer journal that we are going to create. It has images, it has text, it has journaling entries in it. So let's go ahead and do this together. Go into Word. It's very simple. You are going to love this prayer journaling concept. I struggled so long because I don't really love my handwriting and I wasn't exactly sure how to get a prayer journal that was warm and inviting and cozy and just as pretty as everyone else's prayer journals because, you know, you see the prayer journals that are absolutely gorgeous and you just think to yourself, how can I have one of those? So this is how you do it. You come over into Word, you open up a new document and you title it. For instance, we are titling this one Spiritual Warfare. So the honest, hard, cold truth is there is a battle and we need to be equipped for that battle, ladies. Okay, so go into insert and go into pictures. I've already went to those websites. I have found images that I liked and then I simply downloaded them to my desktop. So here's one that I really liked and this one shows a person with their battle cry outfit on, right? Their full armor of God, if you will. So go into Google and type into Google and search spiritual warfare Bible verses. You don't know every scripture in the Bible by heart, so you have to look them up and study them. So this website right here, um, openbible.com is a great one. I just went to Google and typed in, maybe you're dealing with loneliness, anxiety, depression, whatever your thing is. Maybe it's not spiritual warfare, but if it is, come over here and get yourself one of these Bible verses. 
If you are on a Windows computer, you can highlight and do Control C, which is copy. If you're on a Mac computer, you can do Command C, and then right underneath this text and image that we've already created, we are going to insert, just do Control V for paste, and then I'm just gonna delete the text. I don't need to know there were 633 helpful uh, votes on that scripture. So I'm gonna go up here and center my text, maybe make it a little bit bigger. And this is gonna remind me when I go into prayer, now you can choose to print these out or you can choose to just sit down in front of your computer and pray from the screen. And as God gives you little tidbits, as he reveals things to you in your spirit, as you're in the midst of that spiritual warfare, deep in prayer, and he's pouring things into you and thoughts are coming to you, you can write these out onto this Word document and either then print that page and add the date to it and add it to a binder or just continue saving it to this Word document. Sit down in front of your computer maybe to have your, your quiet time. But so this is what I would do is I would find the scripture that I liked, find an image to make it warm and inviting and pretty, and then I would type something to the effect of, Dear God, help me remember to put on my armor daily to fight the battles I face. Remind me as I look on this page that I am not alone, that you have went before me. You can add as much or as little as you want to to that. So maybe we will go back over and we're going to insert another picture that I saved earlier, which I really, really liked this one. And this one is and again you can size these you can make them as big or as small as you want to um, and I'm going to go back to this site and I really like this Deuteronomy 28 and 7 this one says the Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before you they shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways maybe you're writing again, dear God, this reminds me that you will cause me to triumph. And you can continue writing all of the things that come to your mind. And again, you can print this out, put hole punches, you know, hole punch the pages, stick them in a binder, or place them down in plastic sleeves in a binder so that you can pull them out. And the really cool thing is, is when you print, if you chose to print them out, you could print them out and then handwrite additionally as you're in prayer. Maybe you don't want to pray in front of a computer. Maybe that's not inviting. Maybe you really feel called to be away from electronics. So maybe you've chosen to print out this. And then you take these scriptures and these prayers that you've brought before the Lord. And you remind him, not because he doesn't know, but because it helps to solidify it in you as a person. And get into your spirit what the word of God says. What thus saith the Lord about a situation and I encourage you to write out the entire verse um, chapter there in Ephesians putting on the helmet of salvation shotting your feet with the preparation of the gospel and I encourage you to write all of that out and read that back to the Lord every single day as you can see there are tons and tons of really amazing scriptures, John 8 and 32, and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. So you don't even have to use an image. You can just go here and maybe we'll go to our third page of our prayer journal and we'll just simply use the scripture. And after we type in the scripture, then we can just start in with our letter to God us pouring out our heart and everything we are. Prayer journals for beginners do not have to be hard. These prayer journal tips and hacks, these ideas that I'm sharing with you is coming from a place of love to help you grow and deepen in your relationship with God. And I pray that you have found this video to be very helpful. I have tons more videos coming just like this. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And I pray that I see you back here on Monday. I am doing a series right now on the channel on Mondays about letting God fight your battles. So if you find yourself in the midst of a battle and you're not really sure how to proceed, 
I've created an entire video playlist about that exact topic and I would love to have you come over to the channel and check it out and subscribe and join my online kingdom crew. God is amazing. I appreciate your support. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Oh, by the way, don't forget whatever you do and in all things to stay kingdom minded.